glass. There's right? only a few stones that I use that are plastic. No glass. <laughs> um, but I didn't bring any styrofoam. Okay. <laughs> Her asbestos bracelet is fabulous. <laughs> Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. You guys, we are so excited. I'm calling these episodes QVOC because you guys have been commenting for years about the bling that we wear. Well, guess what? She is here, the genius behind Earthly Love and Light. She's an incredible singer, incredible actor with an entrepreneurial heart. So she did what? She took that and made handmade treasures and started her own business earthlyloveandlight.com. She's here. There's deals you want to get in on, so stay tuned. Gina Coconado Herring is here, and we're getting buzzed. Woohoo! Gina! Welcome! Hey! And we did not call each other. We did not. No! But you're my soul sister, so... We are. We are you know. connected yeah. on another level. Mm -hmm. I was that just saying sure. earlier... <laughs> <laughs> I was saying earlier, maybe I should have just kind of... No. stepped out of this one and let the two beauties uh, dominate never, here, never, which never. they're going to do anyways. Your beautiful spirit oh, needs thanks. to be yes. here. And, and look, plus, I am kind of one of the girls no, you know, but you're <laughs> when it comes to this type of stuff. Three beauties are always better listen, than two, Chuck. It's you're fine. like the male model because these this is for men too. So you have to, you're the living proof. And Frank on camera is sporting some earth. There is too. nowhere that I go yeah. that people don't say something like, Oh man, where did you get those? Same. Um, and I don't leave home. It's like it's like what's the is it Mastercard that you don't well, leave home with? Well, used to be American. You, no, the old American, American Express. Express. Don't leave home without it. I don't leave home without this. The heck with my <laughs> freaking American Express. Um, and uh, and you too, right? Yes. And I have to say that when we've been in like high end jewelry stores, where people go like, "Oh, is that one of ours?" And I'm like, <laughs> "No." no. <laughs> It is not. Nay, nay. No, no. So, we are so excited you're here. Thanks. She brought the babies I to did. show. Um, so many babies. We have so many things we want to talk about. Yeah. About and, and this you know and otherwise. I, I just want to say something real yes. quick. Because uh, some of you might be thinking, well, wait a minute. Are you guys going to talk about voiceover? Yeah, we yes. are. But the main thing is, and as you all know, the voiceover is a business. And whether it's voiceover or you're a chef and you want to have your own restaurant or you make jewelry or whatever, you're an entrepreneur, you're a business. And we're talking to Gina today because she figured out how to turn her own business into a successful business. And so it all correlates together yes. into doing what you need to do to get what you want. So it will make sense. Yes. 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 You're here. That was so um, profound. Yeah. Right? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's uh, the end the of the crystals. show. See you guys later. It's Bye. the crystals. <laughs> There's, I mean, seriously, though. I, I mean, and you know, I, the moon, I mean, the whole thing. I am like into that stuff and I feel the jade yes. and the red. I feel it, right? And all of a sudden, I've got an accent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the crystals as well. <laughs> but I have to say, I mean, and we're going to talk about this, but but I want to know first. Yes. Um, what inspired, okay, we know you're a Beautiful singer, beautiful actress, Thank you. so talented. But you said one day, I want to do this shop. Yeah. Earthlyloveandlight.com. Mm -hmm. Go to it. It's right Please. there on the lower third. Go to it. Um, what made you want to do it? It really was something, it was a fun thing that turned into a real thing. And um, what really happened was I, I got into essential oils. And um, I, I wanted to be able to utilize my oils in other ways. Mm -hmm. And so the idea behind a functional jewelry line that um, was pretty and sassy, mm -hmm. but also able to kind of assist in aromatherapy was something I was super interested in. I'm not the only one that's done it. Yep. And I went looking for pieces before I started my own and they were real expensive. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can make my own. And I literally just started stringing beads together and buying things that spoke to me, colors mm -hmm. and, and different combinations that I really, really loved. And uh, I started making stuff for myself. And then people saw it and was like, oh, I want one. And I was like, oh my God, I'll make you one. That'll be so much fun. <laughs> and they just were gifts, you yeah. know? And then somebody was like, you should sell these. And I was like, eh, 
okay, you know, <laughs> <laughs> let's do that. Yes. <laughs> and, um, you know, there's all these different platforms that make it super easy for you to yes. do that. I started on Etsy mm-hmm. um, and have recently just migrated over to my own website, which has yes. been super exciting. Um, and, and really just, it kind of launched from there. And I really thought, oh, I'll, uh, I'll make the bracelets and I'll put them online and people will buy them. And so like I did that and nothing happened. Right. <laughs> I was like, uh, hello. Oh, maybe it's not connected. They're there. It's, not, They're there. it's not connected. It's, it's not connected. Right. Is yeah. my Wi-Fi off? <laughs> uh, and so I was like, okay, reboot. Let's figure some stuff out. And it, it, you know, your your own director of marketing, your your own CFO, yes. your own everything. Yeah. And um, you know, a couple of hard lessons in terms of like how to buy supplies and how to, you know, and, you know, a couple of not necessarily failures, but just some, oh, we won't be making that yeah. that decision again. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We had a, a few of those. And then with the help of my husband and with the help of some people who have been extremely supportive, just a few. Yes. Um, I it, own her whole store. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's ridiculous. Um, you own custom pieces and everything that's on the internet right now. I love it. Um, I love it. That I'm it's, honored. Yeah. And it's just kind of morphed into uh, like a, a, a really big passion project that I love yeah. to do. Yeah. And uh, it just kind of took off a little bit. So. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and Gina, I know that when you when you make these beautiful pieces of art, mm-hmm. you're not just... String Stringing a bunch of friggin' beads together. I mean, these beads, they mean something. Yes. Um, and every one that you make, like, and I didn't know this until just recently, actually, that mm-hmm. when you're sitting down and you're making a bracelet for somebody, mm-hmm. no matter who it is, uh, whether it's a customer that she knows, like one of us, or, you know, somebody that she doesn't, that you will not sit down to work on that bracelet unless you are in right mind and body, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sound mind and body. You need to be in a good space because yes. you don't want to make something for somebody else when you're in a in a in a bad sp- space. That's totally true. Which that is incredible, man. Oh, yeah. I Thank mean, you. so these things are more than just a piece of jewelry. There's something that were that was made with love, with They're heart magical. for somebody oh. else. They're magical. They really <laughs> are. And so, <laughs> why do you do that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of things. I don't think you can be um, in a good creative space if you're like mad about your commute or stressed about your job or, you know what I mean? And so I just, uh, this is something that's fun for me. And I, I love playing with this. And I look at, the, I look at this and I was like, oh my God, look what I've done. Yeah. And, and it's something that I'm proud of, but also humbled by because I can't believe people are buying this stuff from me. And, and so I want to be true to that. I want, mm-hmm. I want to honor the fact that people decided to spend their money on my pieces. And, and I think the best way to do that is, is from the ground up. And so when I, when I start to string something together, yeah. whether it's a design that I've already made or whether it's a, a new thing that I'm trying to put together, I put on my diffuser. I have some oils. I used to have a glass of wine, but I don't do that anymore. So no more wine. <laughs> You started making all kinds of crazy <laughs> stuff. Well, well, nobody's going to want that. This, this one's not really a This a one came out it's way kind of too like small. <laughs> The pattern is a little all over the place. This will fit. That's Blame it on the Bordeaux. Good. Okay. I'm glad you laid off the wine there. <laughs> Thank you. But, um, <laughs> so, um, but I'll put on the diffuser and I'll just kind of get myself into a good headspace. Mm-hmm. Put on some music as yeah. opposed to the television. You yeah. know what I mean? Because the, the TV for me is kind of like a zone out thing, but the, the music thing kind of just is like instant therapy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'll just get myself in a good space. And I'm like, okay, I've just poured all that good you know, energy into somebody else's... Yeah. You know, yeah. And then you, then don't you sage yeah. and you do everything? I sure do. Take us through the whole process. <laughs> so after things are done and I try and do order by order. I mean, there, it's, it's getting a little harder to do that now because the orders are coming in a little bit faster, which is amazing. Yay. I'm not complaining. Um, but, um, you know, I'll try and go order by order and make sure, you know, because when I've made the design, I've made them for certain reasons. And so even if somebody's not buying it for that reason, mm-hmm. something's brought them to that particular piece. And so if somebody's buying something with citrine in it, my my initial thought is this person is looking for happiness. This person is looking for prosperity. And this person is is attracted to the sun. And maybe that's just not in their life right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I will I will take a moment to kind of set an intention for this piece as it goes out. And then I will either put sage in my diffuser and have that going so that my space is clear, or I will burn some sage just around the little boxy like this. Yeah. (laughs) 
love it. Listen, the fact. I love it. The, yeah, absolutely. It's the such, fact that you take the time. Yes. And that you care that much. Yeah. Um, it, it just it, it just it means the world to me. But I, but the people out there they need to know that this is not a generic bracelet mm -hmm. with some plastic little thing on it. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Thank you. So these are not plastic. These are not no. styrofoam. Nope. These are not plexiglass. Nope. Um, what are your stones made of? Because I know that you yeah. take pride in choosing mm -hmm. really, really great stones. Thanks. Um, I, I try, a, I try and source my stones from where they come from. So if uh, my tiger's eye comes from India and my mukite comes from Australia, if I can't get that, I will do my best to work with a supplier that's in the U.S. that has kind of like a similar thing going on mm -hmm. as I do. Somebody who's connected to the stones and who isn't just like, you know, I, I try not to use anything that is color enhanced or anything like that. So, um, you know, they are, they're made from the actual stone and they're carved from real amethyst, yeah. real agate, real, you know, black onyx yeah. and they're polished and, uh, you know, and smoothed out. Uh, so that they don't scrape your hands. Yeah. yeah. So that you don't have a bunch of bruises. Each comes with a band aid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. And and you know and things have you know for a while it used to just be you know like the circular beads but we've gotten into some more of like um, you know like hexagonal diamond shaped right. things. The yeah. faceted ones yeah. are so cool. Those are your those yeah. are your language. Yes, so I do. Cool. I like my facets. Yeah. Me too. I like yes. things to sparkle. Um. Yes. Well, we, we you know we love a good sparkle around here. <laughs> <laughs> and I always say I put them on till my elbow won't bend. I don't think there's um, anything we own that doesn't sparkle. True that. <laughs> including the lights around here. Okay, so we're gonna do some, you know, cut-ins and stuff. But but tell us some of the things that are going on. Yeah. Um, and with the wood beads, the rose wood beads, the sure. lava stones, and and all of that. Um, in terms of making them functional jewelry, each piece um, has. Well, you know what, for the most part, there's a couple of pieces that are just like crystal baubles, but for the most part, everything is functional jewelry. And so um, everything from the wooden beads that are here, uh, the rosewood beads, and then also the lava stones. Wow, um, those are cool, man. Yeah, they're super cool. Yeah. They're, they're porous. And so for me, what I do is I will grab my oils and I will, and I'm wearing some already, so, mm -hmm. um, and I will put the oil on my wrist right? This is a blend and I'll rub it into my wrist because I like it to get into my body mm -hmm. as well. And then I'll put a little on the pore stones and that scent will stay with me. On the lava. On the lava. On the rock. lava yeah. stone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that scent will stay with me for up to 48 hours. That's cool. And yeah. it just kind of, I know. And here's the I important can smell it thing. From here. Yeah. Here's the important thing about good. essential oils though yeah. versus perfume, because obviously right. in the voice of our culture, we need to be mindful of how we smell. Exactly. If and we smell, if we don't smell. Yeah. Right? You don't want to walk so, into someone's studio and right. be like, <laughs> patchouli. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. That's a fan favorite. Yeah, exactly. Um, hoping, your, hoping your copy needs to make you cry. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, so the essential oil absorbs versus goes into the air. Exactly. Yeah. So putting it on your skin, which is the largest organ in your body, it's going to absorb and it's going to uh, get into the bloodstream. And so what you smell right now, you won't smell in five minutes. I was gonna say like, I don't even right. smell it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's yeah. just, it's not, and, and the essential oils, um, they're not even real oils. They get that name because they don't blend with water real well, but right. these are, you know, components of plants and flowers and herbs that have been cold pressed and created into these tiny little bottles. Um, but they're not, there's no fillers or anything like that yeah. in them. And you know, when you get a perfume, you get a spray bottle and it's got stuff in it that makes it linger in the air. That's how yeah. it works. This isn't meant to do that. This yeah. is right. meant to go into the yeah. bloodstream and affect you. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know, that's just kind of how the oils work. They work aromatically, they work topically, and they can work internally, you know, depending on if yeah. you're into yeah. that sort of well, stuff, which I am. <laughs> <laughs> I will eat some essential oil. <laughs> well, I'll have I love a bowl too. of cereal with it's, some essential oil, please. Yes. Right, with a Pass Cheerio. Pass the oregano oil. With a Cheerio. <laughs> I want to um, smell like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything worse? No. No. Um, <laughs> so as a singer, as an actor, mm -hmm. you know, I love, because we've talked about this before, where you have sort of a performance blend yeah. that you use. So can you talk about like what is a great for performers to help with 
Yes. Yes. So when I um uh when I go into the booth, um sometimes my agent will be like, uh, you sound a little nasally, and I'm like, okay, well I'm from Chicago, so sorry, my bad. But um, did you have a can of Campbell and an apple? <laughs> I was like, Dad, um, can <laughs> I <laughs> upstate New York? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, so I will um, apply like a little eucalyptus, uh, mm-hmm. just kind of down my nasal cavity and across like a swipe across my forehead and the bridge of my nose. And that just kind of opens everything up so that I don't have that stuffed up nasally thing. Um, and then I will use um, the company that I get my oils from has a blend called Joy. And the whole idea behind it is to open up your heart chakra and make you available to joy around mm-hmm. you um, so that you can literally fend off negativity and all that type of their stuff. Yeah. And I put that right over my heart. And so those are the two oils that I use mainly when I'm going into a booth. Yeah. And more often than not, nobody has nobody has said anything to me. And I do it early enough that I don't walk in and, you know, meet the sound engineer and they're not like, oh my goodness, yeah. this girl. <laughs> Um, but it, it's that, well, that it's I'm telling you right She's now, that is a girl. much better scent than yes. walking in right after going to McDonald's yeah, and or smoking and a cigarette. up the studio of a Big Mac. Or uh, for those that have liquor, yeah, I'm right? just saying. Yes, yes. <laughs> we know a few of those now. You know yeah. who you are. Um, you were very, very cool. And I, I just, because I want to tell, tell people again, again, your website, where they can get it. But you were really, really cool. Mm-hmm. And you created a special promo code. I did. For, for all y'all. All you all. Yes. And can you, so can we please give them that information? Yeah, of course. So we're going to do 15% off, um, off your entire purchase. Uh, no minimum, no maximum. Uh, just anything that you want from the shop uh, will be yours. So uh, Buzz15. We'll get you yes. 15% off. Beautiful. Um, Buzz one five. One five. Yes. Yeah. Earthly yeah. love and light dot com. That's Go the there um, now. And I have to say, I mean, truly, and you By know, the way, I love that. I know, right? I might have to steal that. You don't have to, to steal it. There's more over Hello. here. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Stealing is unnecessary. <laughs> it's so tacky, <laughs> too. Isn't it, though? I'm using my magic power. <laughs> so I have a force field. <laughs> <laughs> She's <My> protected. <laughs> um, so this, I mean, they are not expensive, no. you guys. And so literally, and we, I like to, you know, I always like to say, like, I get stacked up to face the yeah. world. Um but Gina will ship in the U.S. internationally. Yes. And so, obviously, this is early November. If people want things for the holidays, yeah. hint, hint. Hello. What's sort of the cutoff yeah. for you um, to get it? International, uh, for sure, by, uh, like, the third week in November yeah. w- okay. would be safe. Um, just because sometimes it's out of my hands, you yes. know, um, and, and I want you to have your stuff, especially for the holidays. Um, uh, but for anything in the U S I would say by like the 10th or 12th of December would be, okay. would still be very safe and I'll get it to you yeah. because, um, you know, I used to like make as, as people ordered, but now see, I'm getting real smart mm-hmm. and I'm creating a line of things and, before I launch. And so Good, when people yes. in varied sizes. Yes, exactly. Yes. And so when people order, it's ready. That is so cool. You know what I mean? Look at you that learning so cool. how to operate. Hey, you know what I think right. we should do? Because because also just we will say that that these are done by size. Because I have like super like little wrists. I mm-hmm. mean Chuck has the guitar player oversized wrist. Um, so <laughs> you have baby wrists. Did you say you have small wrists? Yeah. Baby wrists. Da, da, baby da, 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 little da, 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 I stopped growing in second grade, literally. Um, I just wear big shoes. Not in all areas, <laughs> my dear. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> eyes up here. Uh, <laughs> they're made in different sizes. So How, when someone wants to order something, Mm -hmm. is it you take a piece of string? Like, what's the best way to give you a measurement? You know, if you're like a small medium. Yeah, I I think uh, you can use dental floss. You can use a string, um, you know, and just kind of go around the biggest part of your wrist by the wrist bone and then measure that out or use a soft tape measure either way. And and really, it depends on the fit that you want. I have a... So you measure it up by literal literal inches, right? Yeah, Yeah. exactly. Because you might want it snug or you might want it a little... Dangling. Like if you have itty bitty baby wrists, you are an extra small. I feel like you know, she's judging me. No, not at all. <laughs> jelly. I'm just jelly. I'm big inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I 
also I have a small wrist, but you yeah. just have extra <laughs> small wrist. But I prefer a looser fit. I like I like a little room. So I yeah, will, me too. I yeah. will grab a women's medium or large yeah. anyway, just because I don't and want plus, it. Yeah. I like to stack them. So obviously it's a little skinnier right. here than it is yeah. up here. I like the noise yours makes. You're like, I know. oh man. <laughs> I know. Oh, look, I know. Look, look, hold on. Sorry, I, want, I want everybody to hear this. <laughs> you hear that? That's like a freaking maraca, baby. Thank you, Sennheiser. Um, thank you, Sennheiser, for picking that up. <clears throat> our you know what yes. I want to do? Yeah. Thanks, Sennheiser. So you know what I want, I'd like to do yeah. this. I think it'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, I would like everybody who purchases Says. any of these from Gina between now and during the holidays, since we're going to be taking a little a little breaky breaky, to when you get yours, take a picture of it on your yes. hand and yes. post it and tag us. All right, because yes. that way we'll give you guys yes. a ton of love and, and yes. we'll just share. Yes, tag us on Instagram, Veal Buzz Weekly. Stacey J. Aswad, yeah. Chuck and Earthly Love and Light. Make yeah. sure to follow Gina, follow us, uh, you know, and and show off your your treasures because yeah. And, and I like to see the stacks that people make. Me too. It's my favorite thing ever. Right. Yeah. It really is because yeah. like what I imagine, you know, going for. I, I I like cleaner looks. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But there are people that have thought to put like really beautiful green adventuring with gorgeous rose quartz, and I'm like, I never would have thought of that yeah. combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weirdly enough, those are the two colors of the heart chakra. Who knew? But people put that together all the time. And yeah. I'm like, look at you. Drawn to your, yes. you're drawn to it. Okay, good. Now, listen. Talk to me. <laughs> listen. I want you to show. I, I'm so bossy when I get around accessories. Yes. <gasps> I want you to talk about some of these actual stones and some of the properties because okay. that's important. Yes. To know like when you need howlite, when you need onyx, right? Yes, ma'am. Name dropping. I get so excited when I get them right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mispronounce stuff all the time. I'm like crazy lace agate. <laughs> it's agate. Ah. Okay. So, but <laughs> it is now quartz. Quartz. <laughs> the quartz. <laughs> Amethyst. Amethyst. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's, um, I brought some of my favorites. Yes. So I think if I had to choose, like if you were like, hey, what's your favorite stone? I'd be like, I don't know. Yes. I love them all so much. But the first one that comes to mind is gonna be the mukite. I love the mukite. I heart the mukite too. So let me just grab so it pretty. real fast. And um, what I love about the mukite is that it's not like one particular color. There's yeah. really pretty yellows and pale yeah. pinks and 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 um yeah, that's really and burgundy. Cool, man. Yeah. Yes, yes, and yes. It, it's so fall. -ish. It's got such it's a really yeah. cool like little uh. Uh, just it's it, it, like a glow. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. When I designed this particular piece, um, and it's funny to me the things that I gravitate towards because um, this particular bauble is very me. I need this bauble in my life. Um, Mukite is a jasper from Australia, and it um, jasper has uh, protective and grounding qualities mm -hmm. on its own. But this particular stone is really great for keeping your feet on the ground while allowing you to. Um, adventure out. Mm. And as a homebody who likes to cuddle with her puppies and her husband, I have a tendency to be like, no, I'm super happy and safe in my space. I don't need to go out. Um, and then before I know it, like three weeks have passed and I haven't really like left my house. And so <laughs> I love the idea of the adventurer, which yeah. is what Mukite is, mm -hmm. um, giving me the opportunity to explore new things, try new stuff, uh, maybe I'll go a little bit outside of my wheelhouse. Yeah, it gives you bravery. Yeah. yeah, and it totally does give yeah. you a little bit of bravery. And I paired it with hematite, which is great for balancing. And it's got the three little wood beads, so I can pair it with oils um, that would be good for that, like frankincense. Mm -hmm. And um, this blend here is called Valor, which is great for courage as well. And uh, so I think if I had to choose, this might be my favorite. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love these little speckly, sparkly guys. I have yeah. on them with the moon. Love that. Yeah. So that's a sesame jasper. Yes. And it's also paired with a silver hematite. And yeah, that sucker is bad, man. Thank you. I, mean, I created this. Geez. I created this back in April um, for the new moon back then. Uh, so the Aries new moon, it was supposed to help kind of like wait out excess water and mm -hmm. kind of give clarity so that you could move forward yeah. and um, and and barriers that you had built up. It was going to kind of you know, wash that away for you. Um, the specks that are in here are black tourmaline. So while it uh, is breaking down your barriers, it's also protecting you from yeah. anything that you might be a little bit of afraid of. And like I said, I like to filter in 
citrine and hematite in a lot of my pieces because they are good balancing. Yeah. You know, you want to explore, you want to try new stuff, but you want to be grounded when you do it mm -hmm. because if you're just like, you know, that just creates for a group of manic yeah. people, but right. staying yeah. grounded and keeping your, you know, your head focused a right. little bit right. while you adventure out is going to be the best thing possible for yeah. you. you know? Well, and what, what's so special too is they are beautiful. Thank y'all. But so what I think is so important is that you're not just putting, oh, these colors look nice together and, and throwing things together. Yeah. There is a purpose for the combinations that mm -hmm. you make. Yeah. They're not just pretty pieces. They mm -hmm. actually have powerful intention. Yeah. I, and I so like I think that think that's so. important for people to, to know too, that it's not just i uh, I'm watching you, by the way. Oh, that's pretty. I'm not, she's, I'm not greedy. She's watching you. Buzz one five. Do you have pockets? Buzz one five. <laughs> Buzz one five. <laughs> QVOC. Well, that concludes part one with our good buddy, Gina Coconato Herring. And we're going to be back next week with part two, so check it out. Yes, we will. Don't forget, you guys, earthlyloveandlight.com. Use the code Buzz15, Buzz15, and get your baubles. Be in the bobble club. We love you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Follow Gina on social as well. And just remember, you, you always have time for a little buzz. Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.